welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Ruby and today we've got something a little bit special into our used car stock, 2019 Toyota Hiace. Now this car does present an incredible condition as you would expect being in 2019. Um, so really I'm just going to run you through all of the features and the advantages and why this is the right car for you. Starting off in the middle you've got that Toy Toyota badging right on the front there and that really nice um, black front bar that is going to be a lot cheaper and easier to replace if something did go wrong. Um, being that it is just the black plastic and that is where you tend to get a lot of stone chips um, and if you did run into anything by accident it would be a lot easier for you. There is a couple front parking sensors they are absolutely very small on that front bar as well but being a very long vehicle they're going to help you out really well in the long run. Really nice big headlights as well in this model so you're going to be um, covered in all different conditions with your indicator built in down the bottom there. Working our way around the driver's side, first um, wheel, really good condition on that hubcap there with the steel wheel behind it and obviously heaps of tread on that tyre there too. Colour matched um, side mirrors and black plastic door handles so the side mirrors do just help blend in really well um, and the black plastic does just continue that whole black and white theme. Really nice um, indicator built into your side mirror there which is going to elevate your indication for everyone around you and help clear up that front quarter panel. Opening up, your windows have been tinted so you know you're going to be safe um, from all those UV rays when you are using this car for work. Inside, really good condition on those um, seats. Obviously, being a 2019, you wouldn't expect a ton of wear and tear. Really nice, comfortable design as well. Vinyl flooring as well, so you can literally just hose it out if you do get a bit of mud in there and plastic steps so you can get in and out of this vehicle really easily. Door cards as well where we do tend to get lazy and kick them open, really good condition on there as well. Now being the van you do have obviously the side doors, this one has opted for no window but the other side has opted to have the window. Obviously being the high ace there is heaps of room in the back of these, you've got your rubber floor mats in the very back down there as well. Um, and a little step on either side if you did have to use this, these side doors to get things in and out. You can nice and easily with that step. Closing it up is just a little handle on the inside and a nice easy little push. Working our way down, obviously paintwork presents really well on this side of the vehicle. And then onto that second wheel, a little bit of gashing here but nothing too major and heaps of tread on that tyre. Working our way back around to the back, Obviously we're continuing that um, black plastic as well with our rear bar which does also have four colour matched reverse parking sensors built into it um, and you do get the rear camera mounted under there as well. Now that is pointed towards the left a little bit because we do park on the left hand side of the road and uh, it's going to give you that all, of, sorry because we do drive on the left hand side of the road and parallel parking is just going to be a ton easier with it there. Handle to open up the very back is just next to it as well is on gas struts that will just make it so much easier to open it up to. Again, as you can see, heaps of room for anything you'll need. There are a few tie down points as well, so if you needed to tie anything down and stop it from rattling around the back, you can. Perfect work vehicle, in my opinion. You do get a little handle as well so that you can pull this big door down until you can actually reach it as well. Nice and easy to close, which is a bonus. Working our way down um, onto the passenger side. Again, second, sorry, third wheel. Really good condition. A couple, sorry, just a little bit of dirt there actually, and heaps of tread on that tire. Again, we've come to the um, passenger side rear door. That window does have privacy glass on it, so no one will be able to peek in and see what you do have in the back. Again, paintwork presents really well on this side. And then onto that, um, fourth alloy wheel, sorry, steel wheel with a hubcap, um, all bar being a touch dirty, excellent condition again and heaps of tread all round. So what we have guys is excellent condition inside and out, uh, three unmarked wheels, one very slightly marked wheel um, and very low kilometres as well. So what we'll do now is pop open the bonnet and have a look at the engine. Guys, having a look under the bonnet now, you've got a six cylinder 3.5 litre petrol engine with a six speed automatic gearbox. On the safety side of things, you've got a five-star NCAP safety rating with seven airbags throughout. So you and any passenger that you're carrying are going to be nice and safe in the vehicle. 
With this engine, you'll produce 207 kilowatts of power and 351 newton meters of torque. So plenty of torque if you did need to tow anything alongside um, what is in the vehicle. Um, you do have a 70 litre capacity petrol tank in this vehicle running on 91. You will see an average of 12 litres per 100 kilometres and an average distance of 583 kilometres to a tank. But that does depend on any weight you have in the car, um, how you drive the car and if you are towing anything as well. Alright guys, inside the high ace now and starting on our driver's side door, you've got your power window controls for both the two front windows and they are both automatic up and down. Window lock as well, so if your passenger's getting a bit annoying playing with their window, you can lock them out too. Central locking for all of your doors, and then a button that folds in your um, mirrors as well. While we're on the subject of mirrors, you do also have blind spot monitoring in your mirrors. So if someone is coming up in your blind spot, you'll get the little orange light on the top corner of your um, mirror. Um, just next to that is your window, con sorry, mirror controls as well to change the angles. Um, just above from that, we do have a cup holder, which is nice in front of this vent, so any nice cold drinks in the summer will be kept nice and cool with that vent right there. Just underneath, we do have a few blank buttons and a button for your automatic high beams as well. So once your headlights are on, um, you'll be able to push that in and your automatic high beams will work as well. Four more blank buttons next to the um, cluster and then two more next to that cup holder as well. So obviously anything you are going to fit additionally onto this vehicle, you have plenty of buttons to do so with. Onto our right hand stalk, you do have your headlight controls, indicators and high beams as well. You do have automatic headlights in this model, so a very smart little van will be able to turn its own headlights on for you when it does start to get dark. On the um, left hand stalk, we have all of our washer and wiper controls front and rear. On our steering wheel itself, all of your cruise control settings are on the right hand side and then you also have your lane departure warning as well. So obviously again, um, if you are veering out of your lane without your indicator on, um, the car will beep at you and let you know. Just underneath we do have our mode and our skipping for our head unit. And then on the um, left hand side, we have a few directional pads for our centre screen in our cluster. So things like our range, um, a digital speedometer, um, what direction we're facing, our entertainment that we're currently running, um, trip meters and um, times, and then a few more settings like your lane departure, alerts, um, front collision mitigation, blind spot monitoring, parking sensors, traction control, all of that as well as some car settings. And then any warning messages will come up there as well. Just next to that we do have our back button um, and then our Bluetooth answer button, voice control and then our volume as well for our head unit. Moving into our head unit we do have a really nice reverse camera that comes up and it does give you the guiding lines to um, show you where you're headed. You can change what lines you do prefer as well and you can also change the view if you wanted a wider view or a closer view as well. So really nice and easy to park this big van too. Inside our head unit we do have the four tile display on our home screen. So one for what uh, audio you're listening to, one for your maps and one for your Bluetooth as well. Um, you do get the apps as well. Um, so any apps that you do lodge into the head unit will come up through there. Um, seeking CD player on the top as well, which is very rare for a car that is so um, recent as well. Into menu you do also get all of your um, extra settings for your um, maps, um, audio, all of that. Just below you have all of your um, climate controls, so nice easy little dials to use. Um, so fan speed, temperature and the um, vents you want it coming from. A little bit of storage along with your traction control button. And then to our automatic shifter, you can bring it down into drive and drive it like a normal automatic. Or you can bring it down across into our sports shift as well, so you can shift through your gears manually. Just below we do have a 12 volt socket there and then our USB and AUX inputs. So nice and easy to find there. And then our hard handbrake too. So it does tuck away nicely when you're not using it and come up very nicely as well. If we just pan across the front of the dash, um, we do have another couple of cup holders um, and another 12 volt socket just up the top here. And then into our center console, heaps of storage in there along with all of your service books and everything. 
There's not a ton to pan around, but I'll get my camera person to just pan through, um, show you the condition and just how it looks more than anything. Um, and then we'll jump outside and wrap up the video. Guys, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch the walk around video on this 2019 Toyota Hi Ace. Hope it's given you some insight as to why this is the perfect car for you um, and really helped you solidify that decision as well. Um, just a couple of things before I go. Please ask us about our premium mechanical protection plan. What that's going to do is give you another five years up to 200,000 kilometres after your factory warranty of cover on 181 parts in the car and give you 10 years of platinum roadside assist from the moment you drive out of our dealership as well. So please ask about that one. And please have a chat with our finance team, Mario and Julie. They would be happy to help you out um, if you are looking to finance, obviously, with tailoring a package to suit your needs and your budget as well. Please go check out our Google reviews, sitting on 4.8 stars with over a thousand Google reviews as well. So you can be assured to deal with a reputable dealership, the right kind of people, and buying an excellent quality vehicle as well. That number to call is 9907 My name is Ruby, and thank you for watching.